The Mexican Mafia dates back to 1957. Then, in one of the American prisons, located in California, 13 Mexican prisoners decided to create a riot and repulse the white and black prisoners who oppressed them. Together, they called their grouping La Am, Mexican Mafia. The leader of La Am in prison was Luis Suero, nicknamed the Buffalo. It was with him that mass racial reprisals began. The Mexican Mafia is a criminal organization in the United States of America, USA, which mainly consists of people of Mexican ethnicity. Despite its name, it was originally created in the United States, and its activities are carried out mainly on the territory of this state and its prisons. Mexican gangsters are one of the old U.S. mafias. The main purpose of creating the mafia was to ensure the safety of Mexican prisoners in prisons. A secondary task is a tribute to the memory of their ancestors of the ancient civilization of the Maya and the Aztecs. Mafia leader Luis Florence took up the mass recruitment of criminals in order to create an organization with which all prisons would be considered. The number of its participants at the moment has reached more than 65,000 people. The main activities of the organization are drug trafficking, extortion and assassination attempts both inside and outside prisons. The Mexican Mafia is a complex structural community. It can be said that it is a state within a state. It has its own leader, the ruling influential elite, generals, captains, lieutenants, and ordinary privates. Luis Florence established a whole set of laws for the Mafia. For example, you can join an organization only with a blood oath, and you can leave it only after losing your life. Like any criminal community, Liam has its allies and enemies. The main ally is the Aryan Brotherhood, the largest group in the United States. The main enemies are the Black Guerrilla Family, an African-American group in the U.S., and the Nuestra Familia, a Mexican-American organization in California. In 1978, the criminal organization Liam split into two factions, the original Mafia, which retained the structure and philosophy of the previous organization, a new mafia with its own structure, in which each of its members can participate in the selection of the leader, who has the right to make important decisions. This separation took place at Florence Prison in Arizona. The next few years in the history of the mafia were marked by a massive murders, caused by disputes between two new organizations for the right to be called the Mexican Mafia. The main and legal activities of the organization of Mexican gangsters are car theft, kidnapping, extortion, drug trafficking and weapons trafficking both inside and outside U.S. prisons. This mafia is involved in the murders of many members of other gangs, such as the Aryan Brotherhood, an organization consisting of gangsters with white skin, or the Black Guerrilla Family, which included mostly African Americans. The Mexican mafia operates in the U.S. in the so-called Golden Triangle, Chicago, Texas, and California. Currently, the mafia also operates in Mexico. Many of its members have dual citizenship and are free to cross the border between the two countries. The Mafia's criminal activities contribute to Mexico's status as one of the most dangerous countries in the world. The criminal organization La Im does not have a single leader. Many of its members have the right to plan murders of people and carry out other criminal operations. According to rough estimates, about 1,000 Mafia members have the right to lead and control its activities. The following rules apply in the organization of Mexican bandits. Gang members cannot be homosexuals. Members of the organization should not be informers. Gang members cannot be cowards. It is forbidden to make an attempt on another member of the gang without permission. Each bandit must respect the family of another mafia member. Gang members are not allowed to rob each other. The participant has no right to interfere in the affairs of another bandit. Violation of any norm is punishable by death. The Mexican mafia controls almost all gangs in Southern California. The Aryan Brotherhood is an ally of the mafia. Despite occasional disagreements, since both organizations have common enemies, Lying also cooperates with Mexican drug cartels. The main enemies of the Mafia are the criminal organization Our Family, which dominates the north of California, as well as some African American groups, such as Crips or Bloods. The main symbol of the organization of Mexican bandits is a black hand, which is often depicted on the tattoos of its members. The national symbol of Mexico, an eagle and a snake, located above a fiery circle with crossed knives, is also used by this mafia, and another symbol of the mafia is the letter N, which its members in the form of tattoos depict on the palms and fingers. Often, street gangs that are under the control of the Mexican mafia use the number 13 as their identification, since it is the serial number of the letter N in the Spanish alphabet. Another well-known symbol of this organization is a woman wearing a sombrero and the words carnalismo, consanguinity, sereno, southern, and homie.